Hey, what's up, V Squad? So hey you guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, my name is Victoria. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so you become a part of the V Squad. And if you are an oldie but a goodie, you know I have nothing but love for you. Today you guys, I am bringing you a how I slay for the gram, okay? It's a tutorial, um, tips, tricks. This is not only for, you know, taking pictures, it's also for like doing YouTube videos, you know, any type of videos, really Instagram videos, whatever you wanna do. Basically, I'm just gonna be showing you guys how I take my pictures by myself. I do not have a photographer. Now, every once in a while, I will work with my main photographer. I only have one, um, and he's really great. But for the most part, I'm taking most of my pictures by myself. So before I show you guys like what I have been using, I'm gonna show you guys what I have added to my collection now I'm so 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 thankful for this because I did not know that it existed I'm so this is what I'm talking about it is the selfie stick tripod for a smartphone so now this is not just any freaking tripod now this thing right here if you are the type of person that likes to do sit down tutorials or even do like vlog things like that I mean you can do so many things with this tripod like the list is endless okay this is gonna be really really good for you so if you do decide to purchase it which I will leave all the links you need down below I'm just gonna show you like what comes in the box and like what you're gonna be getting for your money and I did want to mention that this product is like very affordable it's like 20 some dollars and that is nothing because you're gonna be able to use this for the gang, the grip, and you're gonna be able to make money off of it. Like it's gonna help you, um, if you're an influencer, you're gonna make your profit back quick because your quality of your videos are going to improve. So of course you're gonna get the selfie stick. Now I do have mine in pink. This is what it looks like. And it comes with a charging cord as well. Um, some instructions on how to use the product. And a travel bag. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. I'm just gonna show you. It's so small. That's another thing that I absolutely love. I do have, I'm gonna compare it to a water bottle. So this is my water bottle and this is a selfie stick. And as you can see, they're about the same height. So I could fit a water bottle in my purse. So this definitely could fit in my purse as well. This thing here comes up and it looks like this. So this little holder thing that you see here, can do a whole 360. You could put your phone in it like this, or you can turn the phone like this. So I'm just gonna open it now, and as you can see, it gets, you know, to be a nice little length. This thing here does move up and down, goes back and forth. You can vlog, you can take your selfies, you know, do what you gotta do, you know? So like I said, this is not any just selfie stick, right? So here, as you can see, there is like a little detachable remote. So this selfie stick does come with a remote. It is very easy to use. You just press and hold the button until the light comes on. And then that's how you know it's working. It is Bluetooth connected, so you can connect it to your phone. That is definitely a tip I can give you guys. If you're gonna be taking your pictures by yourself, you can use the timer on your phone, like set it to like 10 seconds and then run and then pose. But who has time for that, okay? So it's really good for you to invest in like a little remote for your phone or whatever. That way you can kind of pose and then take your picture. You know what I'm saying? That way you don't have to move. You can easily hide this in your hand because it's so small. So another great feature is the fact that it opens up as a tripod at the bottom, okay? Um, basically all you do is just pull this apart and then you set it on your surface and then you're good to go. You can raise this up or lower it. It depends on what you need, what you're doing, and it works just like a tripod. So you have a selfie stick, a tripod, and a remote. I mean, you can't really go wrong with this. It's so small and compact. You can take it anywhere. I absolutely love, love, love this thing, and I'm so happy that I'm able to add it to my collection just because I can do a whole bunch of stuff with it. So I did want to mention that I do use my ring light to take all of my pictures as well. I will list the ring light that I have down below in the description. This one is by the brand Newer. The stand is by a different brand and this stuff here I brought separately as well. I do have a whole video on the equipment that I use. I'll link that down below and also in the card so you can go and reference it. 
but this is the same equipment I've been using for my photos and for my videos. So another tip I really want to give you guys is the fact that you can take a really good picture no matter what. You do not have to have a fancy camera. Some people do not believe me that I use my phone for absolutely everything. I have not invested in a, a camera. I have not invested in um, anything else. Like I don't have a laptop or anything like that. I edit on my phone. I take pictures on my phone and I film my videos from my phone. And everything looks really, really nice in my opinion. And you guys seem to like it. I even have, you know, bigger YouTubers asking me what camera I use and everybody is so surprised when I tell them I use my phone. Like, I'm so simple. You hear people all the time say, I spent this, you know, I brought this for thousands of dollars and I'm just like, sis, like you really don't have to do that. It's really important for you to just use what you have, you know what I'm saying, and just, make the best out of it. If you do not have a ring light, film during the day to where you can use natural lighting. They do say that natural lighting is the best for pictures and videos anyway, but for me personally, my filming schedule is all messed up, so I have to have a ring light because sometimes I'll film at night and sometimes I'll film during the day. So yeah, basically just take your time, use what you have, and trust me, you can get stuff like the selfie stick tripod that I showed you for $20 and you don't have to get the whole like lighting and you know stand and everything else you can buy like one of those like selfie ring lights and those are pretty cheap you can find those on Amazon as well two things you really really need is good lighting and a decent camera if you have like a decent camera that's good but if you add really good lighting to it pictures will come out good let me tell you because I haven't always had a good camera, like a good phone that had a good camera. So yeah, definitely invest in some lighting because I'm gonna just show you guys an example. I'm filming on my phone and I'm just gonna turn off my ring light. Do you guys see the difference? Now I do have a window kind of in front of me, so you know, I'm still looking shop pop, you know, whatever. But definitely the lighting does make it 10 times better as you can see. So. With that being said, I'm about to go ahead and just show you guys how I take my pictures. So if you wanna see some examples of my work, you can go to my Instagram. I'll leave my Instagram up here and down below in the description. So you know I'm not lying, honey. So you know I'll be slaying for the gram or whatever. But yeah, so let me go ahead and start taking my pictures because I wanna slay this little outfit, this little piece for the gram. If you have any questions, let me know. Leave them down below in the comments. Okay, so it is a different setup. I know I said I was gonna do a voiceover, but I kinda wanna show you guys how I do it. So basically what I'll do is just pick a plain background. I really like white backgrounds. So that's basically how I do it. You can pick any background that you prefer, but for me, I feel like white and things like black just make things pop a little more. Um, so yeah, basically this is my setup. I have you guys on the selfie tripod right now. So this is my ring light, as you can see. I'm standing in front of it. And I do have the example phone here. This is not my cell phone. But basically I just hook my phone up right here in the middle. And then I use the little remote that came with the tripod selfie stick. And I just use it to take my pictures. I already took my pictures, so I'm done. I'm just showing you guys like how I do it or whatever. So basically, I just make a cute pose. Say, for instance, I want to pose like this or pose like this. I have the remote in my hand. Now, if I'm posing like this or if I'm posing with one hand behind my back like this, you cannot see the remote in my hand, okay? So here's the remote, and then it's behind my back. Or even if you have it like this, you can, like, grab a hold to your dress or your, you know, so whatever you're wearing pretty much, and, you know, just kind of, like, hide it in your hand. So basically that's what I'm doing and you cannot even tell that I have a remote. So basically that's how I slay my pictures for the gram. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye. Mwah.